Granny Smith apple. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so this Granny Smith apple is up against a south facing wall on M9 rootstock. I bought this from an Irish supplier and it is grown pretty tall as you can see. Now, Granny Smith is an Australian apple and it is um, best grown in a very warm climate. But here in Ireland, as this tree has gotten older, um, it has reliably given me a crop of apples. As you can see here, the apples usually have scab on them. But that's okay because I use them in cooking. And there's some, there's some scab on the leaf as well actually. Get out of the, get out of the, out of the shadows, there we go. Anyway, so it's pretty effect, badly affected by scab, but apart from that it grows very strongly and the apples are normally okay for cooking around the end of November. So they do hang on the tree pretty well. And it's a bit of an effort really in, when you can compare these, these green apples to maybe other green apples that are probably better suited to the Irish climate. Um, but the reason I'm growing this is because I grew up in Australia and this tree really reminds me of home and I absolutely love the taste of the apple pies that this apple makes. So even though the apples don't really fully ripen here, um, by the end of November I can pick them and peel them and get rid of all the scab and make a fantastic apple pie. I haven't seen any bitter pit on these. This is all the superficial scab, so if I was to peel that apple, it would look perfect underneath. Um, it's just pretty unsightly stuff. I think M9 would be a little bit too tall. I'm just gonna pull back out here. I'd probably go for an M27 if I could. As you can see, it, it, it really does want to get big. I've just got it behind the netting here as well. This is my netted elf area. Keep all the birds out. Um, keep going back so I can give you a good idea of the total size of the tree. It's the tallest M9 that I've got. And then like I said, it is a strong growing tree but the scab really affects it. 